I wasn't planning on making this video, but here we are. <laughs> so this conversation started online, uh, at least I've seen on Twitter uh, as of late, and uh, it's, it's a conversation that's starting to get a little toxic. And it's something that I was was commenting on and, and tweeting about, and it started to kind of pop up in other places other than just Twitter. Um, it, it came out uh, uh, as a conversation yesterday on Kind of Funny Games Daily. And if those of you know, I've been a co-host on Kind of Funny Games Daily uh, at least twice now. Um, and it's, it's, it's a conversation that it really... It's a much broader sort of topic to discuss. And I'm not saying I have all the answers to it, or I'm not saying that my answer is the be all end answer of it, um, because I, I can only share my voice and my opinion. Um, and I only ask that you take of it what you will, and you see my side of the argument. And if you disagree with what I'm about to talk about, then that's fine. I, I value your opinion, and that's how you are. I'm just saying from my perspective, um, this is, seems to be an argument that only has one side, and that's mine, if that makes sense. So a bit of backstory. There is a game um, that recently just came out called Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and it's made by From Software. From Software has been known to be able to make a lot of the Souls games, Dark Souls, Blood Souls, that, that, those kind of basically games that are designed to be really hard uh, in regards to its difficulty to be able to play. I have tried to be able to play those games, but I could not even get close to even completing the first part of it. Um, so I did not look into buying or purchasing Sekiro uh, when it came out because I just knew that game was not for me. Then the argument of or there was some articles actually that kind of started popping up online that Sekiro should have an easy mode. And then that's when the argument really started to kind of gain some traction um, because there was people that were arguing that by adding an easy mode, it takes away from the difficulty, uh, like how the challenge of the game itself. Those games are designed to be challenging. Those games are designed to be really hard so that when you beat it, it, it seem it becomes an accomplishment, something that you overcame, something that you uh, were able to beat and be able to kind of uh, overcome and feel elated that you were able to beat a game that was this difficult. Problem with that argument is that's how we in the disabled community feel about pretty much every single game we play a lot of games we play that may seem easy for you when it comes to your skill level are extremely difficult. And when we do get to that point where we do beat the game or we beat a certain challenge, it's not because it was easier for us. It was still a challenge and we still felt the same elation, the same joy of being able to beat that section or beat that game. We still feel the same way and we want to be able to feel the same way in all the games that we play. A preset difficulty is exclusion. You're excluding other players from wanting to be able to play a game that could become their next favorite game. A pre and including an easy mode does not take away from your experience if you want if you don't want to play on easy mode. An easy mode is sort of is a broad term to be able to, to be able to kind of put into a much easier package as an easy mode. We just want to be able to have features and tools that are developed within the game that makes it at just as much of a challenge as it is for us who are disabled gamers who have who physically can't play the game. We want to be able to play the, the game the exact same way. We want the challenge. We want to be able to play the same game that you are. We want to be able to revel in that mini boss that you just beat, that we also just beat. We want to be able to be seen as equal players. And there was a tweet that came out today that made me very upset. 
And I try to be, be as positive as I possibly can. This one almost broke me. I won't say who it was. It was, and I can't even remember actually where it was. I just remember it just, I went into a deep rabbit hole and this tweet came out. And it said essentially the equivalent of an easy mode is the equivalent to a participation trophy. And I'm here to tell you an easy mode is not a participation trophy. An easy mode is allows gamers like myself who may want to be able to play and jump into these worlds that you love, but are not able to because of just the difficulty. There's a case in point that there's actually a really good example that I want to be able to give of a series of games that had a preset difficulty and then changed how they developed the game and no one talks about it. No one is upset that there is a change in difficulty. No one, as far as I understood, I've looked, I haven't seen anything and this game's been out already for a while. And that franchise is the Assassin's Creed franchise. For a long time, I have tried to be able to play every single Assassin's Creed game that has come out. I love the world. I love the story so much. I love the the twist that it has on a time travel try, uh, on a time travel mechanic that is so cool and makes me feel like I'm a badass every time I jump in and wear the hood and the sneaky snick of the of the sword in my arms. I couldn't play it. I couldn't be, I have yet I, I wasn't able to beat any game in the Assassin's Creed franchise. I played everything from Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, Brotherhood, Black Flag, uh, Unity. Uh, I've, I've tried to play every single one, but I couldn't get past it because it had a preset difficulty. It was hard. It was really challenging to the point where I basically gave up on playing Assassin's Creed games almost altogether. And then, Assassin's Creed Origins came out. They changed the gameplay style. Some people would argue that, that that was maybe not a direction that they wanted to go if they were Assassin's Creed purists, but they changed the gameplay. They added a difficulty setting that you could adjust for your own gameplay. And I'm here to tell you, I've not only played and beaten Assassin's Creed Origins, but they kept the same uh, gameplay in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I have enjoyed both of those games because they allowed the game to be accessible to me and to players like me. And no one complained about there was an easy mode then, but for some reason with these this particular game and the particular fans of this game, they see an easy mode as an insult to their way of playing, to their skill level. Nothing is stopping you from being able to play on your own terms. We just want the capability to be able to play the same games that you're playing. We want to play the games that our friends are playing. And when a game locks you out from that, it's excluding people who have a difficult, who have a specific physical difficulty and can't play the game. We would love, I would love to be able to play Sekiro. And actually, and I will say this on their behalf, they do have accessibility features. I have not tried them yet. I personally have not tried them yet. I want to be able to see if that game can be for me. But I, I am weary about doing that because I don't want to spend $80 on a game that I'm going to not be able to play after a couple of hours. And that's a waste of money. I am unemployed. I don't have an infinite amount of income in order to be able to try games to see if I'm going to be able to play it, regardless of whether or not it actually has accessibility mode or not. So I will give it this. From Software has improved their accessibility from game to game. However, a difficulty preset difficulty setting is not negating the vision of the developers themselves. They, the visions change within a game uh, across the de whole development process. I'm just pretty sure all the developers are like, we want people to play our game. That has nothing to do with whether it's a preset difficulty or not. I, 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 I'm not putting words in their mouths. I'm just, and I'm just rambling a little bit right now. There are a lot of games that I can't play. Sekiro is not a, a, an anomaly. 
Sekiro is just part of the problem of games that are either too difficult or to or just not accessible to someone like myself. I gave up on games, on playing video games altogether about 5 years ago. I pretty I sold all my consoles. I had nothing. Before I started Blind Gamer, I had zero consoles. I had actually borrow some from friends just to record the first few episodes of of Blind Gamer. And it was because the games that I that were coming out at the time were too difficult for me to play. It has nothing to do with the preset difficulty or, or something that, be, oh, it's, it's, the game is challenging uh, for the player, so that's why you're not that, that, you're not that great, because it's, it's, it's designed to be challenging for the player. No. It, we go through this every single time we sit down to play a game. We go through, we, we have to be very, uh, as disabled players, we have to be very careful about the games that we pick up and the games that we the, that we start playing because what may be a, your favorite game of all time might be the hardest thing we've ever been able to play. I've given the example of The Division 2 previously uh, or recently and that's kind of come up in that it is very difficult for me to be able to play. It took me two hours to be able to complete one mission that would normally take about 15 to 20 minutes for someone else. And... I was and I tried playing it solo. I was told it's it's better to be able to play with friends, but sometimes my friends are not available to be able to play the game with me. And I'd rather not play with strangers because strangers don't understand my disability. So whenever I'm trying to be able to play with them, I feel like I'm dragging them down, that I am bringing them down and I'm not like I'm not able to participate. So essentially, they'll just go on ahead and do the mission for me. And I feel left out bec again because of the dis like it's the game is just hard for me to be able to play. So and, and, and Ubisoft is really good at being able to add accessibility features within a game. But that's also an example of a game that is really hard. And I love, I love that game. But because it has a preset difficulty, I don't think I'm gonna be able to have to play I'm gonna be able to play it anymore. Unless some of my friends are just wanting to be able to jump in and be able to, to play along with me, I can't play solo anymore. And it could be argued that, that 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 that's also an accessibility issue. So from software is not the only developer that is having this problem. The only thing that I want is I just want to play I just want to play games. I just want to play video games. That's all I've all, that's all I've ever wanted to do ever since I was a kid. And now we're in this gold we're in this literally kind of the cusp of amazing games being created that have amazing accessibility options that I'm people like myself are able to jump in and play. We still have a long way to go, but we're at the point now where it's starting to turn the tide from not from games being completely impossible to possible. And when I see a game like this and I see gamers complaining about an easy mode option. It just reminds me of how far we still need to go. If any of this made sense, thank you so much. If you have any comments about this, leave in the comments down below. I, I, uh, I apologize if there's any arguments that pop up. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't want any arguments to pop up. So, um, if we can have some, a civil discussion, that would be fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, I remain obediently yours. Bye.